Hey everybody, welcome to Ben Knight's Let's Sculpt, Sculpt January, day 19. The topic of today is vermin, vermin scum. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. I already have a pretty good idea of what I want to do. Um, I want to kind of do an iteration of the Rat King from the Nutcracker, because he's a rat, you know, vermin and stuff. Um, so for music, I'm probably going to put in... Um, Nutcracker full soundtrack. Well, it's not really a soundtrack, right? So, ballet from Tchaikovsky. Oh yes. Okay. So let's make a Rat King. Hey, Heartbreaker. Uh, what are you sculpting today? So yeah, like I said, a Rat King. D Rat King. Um, so let's jump right into it, shall we? Uh, let's make sure I'm on the front view, not that it matters much. And we're gonna start, gonna zoom out a little bit, better shapes. I'm just gonna start creating, I'm gonna put my music a little bit more sound. So. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna start making. Uh, I'm. I don't know what kind of pose I want yet. Ooh, oh, my apologies. Like there is this thing that the Red King has multiple heads, but I'm probably gonna skip that part. <laughs> I'm just give him one side head. <laughs> we'll see where we get. Um, uh, we are going to sculptures again. Yeah, I joined early today. Yeah, it's uh, I'm a bit later than normally. I don't know if I should try to. Whoops. Uh, let's go to solids. Uh, do a full body one and make it maybe a, l a little bit less detailed. But that might be fun. So let's try it. I'm not gonna. You know. It's got the base mesh going, right? There you go. Uh, it's gonna get real basic shapes in here. Let's reposition them. Door. Just making a base mesh here. Follow one things to look. That's messy. Get rid of that. There we go. Um, let's see here. This makes a little bit more sense. Anatomically speaking, I'm just sketching a base mesh now at the moment, so don't worry too much about what I'm doing. Those feet don't make a lot of sense today. I'm gonna scrape them away and retry that. There we go. <laughs> Probably should do that separately, huh? I'm gonna put in a different pose as well. Uh, Make them really bulky.
Uh, who's behind you? His girlfriend. That's a mannequin for reference. Yeah. <laughs> you're wondering who's sitting behind me. One is arguing you're my girlfriend, the other one is saying you're a mannequin. So stay completely still. <laughs> hey, Powell, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. This going. Uh, sorry, use a flatten brush to get these sh shapes a little bit in there. Can put in detail later. And I want to pull this back. I don't know much red anatomy, but you know. <laughs> that's kind of the foot. So this kind of sticks out a little bit. It can be a little bit bigger. You know what? Because like I, I haven't even done the arms, and I feel like this is gonna take too much time. So what I'm gonna do is do half a bust, something like this, to to kind of convey a shape. But I think doing a full body is gonna take a little bit too much time. Because <laughs> um, I have to kind of figure out rat anatomy as well, and to be fair, like. It's gonna take a lot of time. shapes in here man this music is so chaotic it's kind of distracting let's put it up a lot more silence there we go um yeah
interesting silhouette going on here. What are details I can give him? I'll look for evil king character, maybe. Is there in Belgium enough work as a 3D modeler? I think you're better off in Holland or Netherlands, sorry. Um, I mean, we have Larian Studios in Ghent, but uh, besides that, I mean, there's plenty of studios, but I think there's more people looking for work than that there's work at the moment. I'll give him a small beard. Or, you know, actually what makes more sense is moving this forward. Should be like his fangs. It's a little bit bigger. Let's cut the, uh, Evil King, so kind of have to overdo the eyebrows. Um, I mean, there's a, uh, work everywhere, like if you know where to look and you know what to do. But I mean, it really depends on what you want to do as well, right? There's always like work for a 3D artist, but it's not like always the work you're looking for and just know because Belgium is a, a pretty small country like the Netherlands but um, it's also like it doesn't invest too much in its media uh, industry and so there's not a lot of things uh, like commercial or TV related that needs like VFX and 3D um, So it's like, are you looking for a job? Like, I don't know if you're even looking for a job, but um, I think like if you want to work in the game industry, I wouldn't. Uh, I would preferably go to Amsterdam than somewhere in Belgium. Just get like Gorilla Studios and all these smaller studios. Kind of like that he has whiskers. I'm just gonna overdo these a little bit. of the years a little bit more. Um I kinda like this. Like I looked up some rat characters that are not necessarily the Rat King, but kind of interesting uh, stuff going on with their features. So we're gonna mainly use them as reference. I think like if if you go if you want to move to Brussels, there might be enough work. Uh, probably.
like his moops. I kind of like don't want to keep him naked, of course. Um, um, so one thing I saw here on the character art. Let's go king outfits. Oh, medieval king outfit. I guess it's more Victorian, maybe. Hmm. Let's see. We're going to add a... weird color thing um, and of course I kind of want to also add a crown I'm really gonna put that in place so we can kind of see where that goes put the X on zero keep it symmetrical for now and then maybe I kind of just kind of shape It would be funny if he's naked under there. Um, uh, yeah, we have some game studios. Yeah, I know a couple of people like you. you have the, well, for one, you have the Blender Institute. Uh, Gorilla Games is in Amsterdam. Um, those are the two biggest ones, I guess. Although I think, yeah. Vanguard games, Little Chicken, yeah. I think Amsterdam has a lot to offer on that. There's something called the Game Dev Map. Uh, yeah, in Amsterdam there's a lot of stuff to do. If you go to uh, Belgium, not so much. Especially in the city where I live. Like 35 against, so 35 for uh, registered game studios against 120. <laughs> it kind of shows the difference. And although Amsterdam is not that much bigger than, I have to be careful what I say. I think Amsterdam is a lot bigger than Ghent, but not like proportional to how many game studios. I think it's like twice as big as Ghent, but it's four times the amount of game studios. Because um, I, I have a pretty small. I would say impression of Amsterdam. I don't think Amsterdam is that big, but I might be wrong. That might just be counting the inner city um, of Amsterdam. So. Yeah, let's go a little bit more into detail now that we have like a pretty cool base mesh going on. Uh, let's go to point zero eight, uh, zero zero eight. I'll do for now. I think. Uh, and I think I also want to add the eyes already. So I have UV sphere. them over here that's a good position uh, and of course do the mirror thing can already apply the mirror and separate the loose parts and this one we can set origin to the surface and then it'll already be centered nicely cool I could have waited until I like I'm 100% sure about the eye position here. Let's get the, I'm gonna just assume or just 
put in some more human features. I'm, go I'm gonna put the eye hole in here. The eye hole, like this. And then I'm gonna put in some cheekbones. Like I'm gonna safely assume that they kind of have the same or somewhat the same bone structure. And, or, and on the other hand, if they don't, I at least bring some like human features in, in it. So it's a win-win situation. <laughs> and the laziest option for me. That's cool. I'm gonna put in a little stylized. Finding these uh, whiskers. Kinda like them. if I bring in a little bit of curvature in there and repeat that curvature in the ears just put that put everything out a little bit you know Technically, could stream the mu music of Tchaikovsky because I think that's public domain, right? But I've gotten in, pro uh, in trouble for that before because you know it's still recorded by somebody, and like they don't have the rights over the music, but they have rights over the um, the recording. So, okay, let's get into some eyelids. Gonna be a little bit tricky here. It's gonna be okay. Right. Let's try to find some lines in here because okay, fatten this up a little bit. Oh, a little bit too much. Oof. Yeah, I probably want to scrape away a little bit here because I think I've done this a little bit. Hmm. I really have to separate the eyebrows and the uh, eye holes a bit better. Um, just like forcing things a little bit here. I'm gonna bring this out a little bit better. Can remesh it and then start. This guy looks interesting. The elder bee. It's not a beaver, it's a rat. <laughs> okay. But normally I would be like, okay, uh, I have to do something because it looks like a beaver, but I mean, come on. <laughs> How does this look like a beaver? <laughs> yeah, I can thicken this a little bit up. Get those shapes a little bit better in there. You exaggerate the shape a little bit more. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'm not a biologist or a judge. <laughs> yeah. That's okay, man. Yeah, it starts to look a little bit more believable. And the shape. So I have to like, no. get the shape of the uh, whiskers here a little bit and I'm sure why this is the crease brush but yeah, we're gonna have to do a better job at this I can't wait for the uh, sculpting branch because not that I'm missing anything but it's kind of like I mean a little bit too hasty here I think I feel like I just have to a little bit more detail work in this I'm still like sketching away right so yeah I'm just gonna you know what just flatten it out Make this one solid shape for now. It's actually a little bit of a curve in here. I'll find some interesting shapes. this uh, snarl going the expression a little bit um. So a little bit more detail in the ear because reds have this weird and then here try to get this a bit consistent there we go kind of mush it together here there we go
Oh, they got a little stylization in the body going on. Because <laughs> in the end, you really want to. Uh, kind of like this one. I'm not sure what this line signifies, but that's a problem. I think like this is kind of the nose bridge in here. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Rats are weird. So this this needs to be flat down. This needs to go to one. We can kind of maybe pull this more this way. And yeah, I really get the shape of. A red beak in there, right? So now we just like simplify it again so that we can then uh, like really start reading into the shape. Kind of flatten it out here again. Kind of want to give him a broader neck. And then kind of here push inwards a little bit so it really hangs over this part just like her uh, yeah that works cool very very cool um more of a solid shape here smooth this out Eyebrows in there. Maybe eye holes could be a. I need to learn my <laughs> words because if I keep saying eye holes, I'm gonna crack myself up. <laughs> Just do this with the eye holes. In here, oops, put it out of here. Now, what we can do is grab the pinch brush and really push this together. So this becomes a fine detail. Nice. And here at the edges, can make this a lot sharper as well. We'll put in some uh, asymmetrical detail in there. Uh, Look up a crown. Yes, this will do. I'm going to do something fancy with the crown. So, going to sculpt mode. I'm going to keep the X mirror on. We're going to put, put radial on. Oh, well, how much is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or seven. Let's put seven. Let's go crazy. Okay. Now let's go to remesh, go to zero point. I really want to go pretty low, so zero one. I'm first gonna go and apply the scale though, so that you don't. Uh, so yeah, that's good. Smooth normals. Was that too much? I think it was too much. Uh, I do use mask brush from time to time if it's really necessary. Yeah. Uh, is sculpting with Blender easier than ZBrush? It's more accessible, I would say, especially if you've had training in 3D uh, softwares before. If you don't have any, like if you're accustomed to maybe Photoshop or uh, other software, Blender might be more accessible than ZBrush, just in the way it handles things. Um, also, Z uh, yeah, just, uh, Blender feels definitely a little bit more easy access. ZBrush, 
I think Seabrush might be daunting at first, but, uh, you know. Oh, I made six. Wow, that's, that's a little bit too much, huh? Okay, point zero. Yeah, I, I guess so. I don't know why I went that high. It's because of point zero zero seven instead. And let's rematch this again. I have six million faces, so. <laughs> Uh, I'm not, uh, that long nose makes it more ready. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, the radial brush is so I can really uh, I can pretty much show it. Um, if I turn symmetry off, radial brush makes it so that uh, what I sculpt uh, like goes into a circle on a specific axis. So we can uh, you know, and then I turn on symmetry because I want the elements I'm putting in there to be symmetrical as well. Uh, so what we want to create here, really, is a uh, crown. So I'm just gonna use grab brush a little bit, and uh, so first I'm gonna use a snake hook tool, and then we're gonna just, oops, yeah, go into the middle here. There we go. Drag this down, drag this outwards, something like this, yeah. And then we can really start detailing. I'm just gonna remesh it once more so that the distribution is a little bit better. There we go. Smooth this out. I mean, I could also create one piece and then add some modifiers, but I think this might be a little bit easier. I'm just gonna remesh it again because I see a lot of artifacts being created here. <laughs> there we go. Try to do it again. Okay, cool. Now we can use the inflate brush. And also, I'm gonna use a snake hook for the middle start creating these this more cloth piece you know Just flatten brush ooh let me flatten brush let's drag this out okay and so what I can do now is have the rake brush go in here and make these very lightly I'm gonna inflate it again a little bit here because I don't want to create unrealistically flat uh, features. Uh, let's see if I can. Yeah, that's that's also good. Uh, okay, and now we can start to create details. For the crown, I'm just gonna go. I'm not gonna go too crazy on this. Let's, let's do one like this. Uh, I'm just gonna try if this is gonna work. It's gonna create like at the moment it's very blobby, and you're like, what is he doing? But now if we use the crease brush. And I start to pulling out these shapes. And this might start looking. I'm just going to copy some shapes that I see over here. Uh, like, for instance, we can here 
create a kind of leaf. I can use the grab brush to kind of really pull this out. Um, got a small sphere here. Of course, you might go a little bit more into detail. So I'm going to remesh to 0.005 because I, I really want to put a lot of detail in there. And the crown, you know. <laughs> there we go. And now we can really create a hole in here. And it really starts to look like, yeah. So now that we know that this technique works, we can apply it to all kinds of crazy shapes. Can use the rake brush here, for instance, to really or maybe the flatten brush will do more trick here. Yeah. So flatten this out. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in on this picture. Uh, for instance, what you can do here is go like this. And then we'll uh, sharpen this edge. And then here, maybe even pull this further. Uh, and kind of, yeah, we don't want to be too messy with this. That's really quickly gonna not look great. I can use the rake brush on the side here to make this more of a solid shape. Yeah, there we go. Put a diamond in here. So we're gonna push this out and rake the top first. I start just raking these sides in. Not sure if that's gonna work. Not really, does it? Although. Something like this. Okay. Oops. Put nice decorations around it. You know, just some swirls and some. up just make some random lines in here I'm kind of having fun with this uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making this a little bit random, but it kind of works, in my opinion. Uh, except for a diamond. Not sure about that one. Should have, like, these, uh... So we kind of also see this side, so it might be like also sharpen that. I have to be careful here because hmm. 
I'm gonna try to do something. Yeah, because this is not perfectly radial anymore. Um, just gonna deflate it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna finish this side and then we'll see. It's really necessary that we go that far. here, I don't know. Just checking what bothers me and then uh, make it so that it doesn't bother me. <laughs> there we go. Nice. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Right, so I also kind of, kind of want to make this piece already. Object at non uniform scale. Oh, so let's apply the scale. <sighs> Why some random, fa random effects are created sometimes? Is it because of lack of vertices in the mesh? Um, yeah, no, sometimes might be because of there's too many vertices in the mesh. Uh, it's just checking out, yeah, you kind of have to check out what kind of. Um, Things you have. So I'm gonna put the radial on something crazy now. Like I, I think 24 might do. Uh, and I also have to remesh it kind of to 0.007. It's more like normals. And what we're gonna do with this is uh, I'm just gonna check. Yeah. I'm gonna look for Victorian color. Yeah, something like that. And what I wanna do is create these holes in here. Kind of push these together. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the best practice to start with the holes though, but. this and smooth it out. I'm just gonna push these out. I will have kind of a reference to kind of put some seams here and down here. There we go. <laughs> that was pretty fast. <laughs> One better than expected. Just gonna cut these a little bit deeper. And then perhaps, you know, push these ends a little bit closer to each other. Um, 
it actually does have to go all the way in, but uh, yeah, we don't want to start creating weird shapes in here. Ah, that's fine. Then we can kind of turn this to half of the radial, and what we can do then is kind of create a little more dissymmetry. Can we rotate it even a little bit? Nah, let's uh, not go super weird, and then go to maybe something weird like eight, and then start like turning this again. Go to six, and you kind of see be a little bit more rougher with what you do, because it's going to create more. Uh, and then when we're on three, we can really start to uh, create these weird. Uh, I mean, you can even turn off radial now. And then we can really start uh, shaping this around the body as well. Bring this a little bit down here, and then. I have a nice color. <laughs> there we go. Stretching. Let's do ice real quickly. Let's put our radial Z back to eight. Remesh it. Smooth it out, flatten it. And then I'm gonna give them small pupils. I only did one eye, cool. What if I give them big pupils? Nah, it looks too friendly. Looks good. Okay. We can just do is pick the other eye, press done eye, and then link the object data. Then we can still move them separately. And we kind of want to look down because he's a king, so he's like, hmm, pure new subjects. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Maybe we give him also the expression a little bit, right? Let's inflate a little bit here. Hmm. Yeah, this. This is asking for trouble, so I'm just gonna flatten this out, smooth it out. And although I'm against like not finishing those shapes, I think it kind of fits in this situation. I would normally put that in that detail in with uh, texturing, but God forbid I'm gonna retopologize this. Let's get our shapes in here. start doing the uh, beat here so I'm gonna kind of see like this shape in here so I'm gonna really try to get that in so like maybe like this just trying to get the big shapes in there right So I see a lot of stretched vertices here still. So what I'm gonna do is go to 0 0.0065 for some reason and remesh it once more. Uh, 
It's so satisfying to watch. Yeah, he really is an artist. Oh, you. Hey, Globus, welcome to the stream. How you doing? <laughs> I mean, everybody's an artist. Just make some art and you'll be an artist. Do, 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 do. Come on guys, we need more uh, subscribers because uh, at this rate we're never gonna take over PewDiePie before he comes back. Detail it needs. One couple behind these. And not repeat so much the same shape. everything and also I kind of went on the surface already a couple of uh, oops, things sticking out like this not like that eh. not a bit like that yeah hmm like behind the beard as well like some bigger pieces just to give it a little bit of depth you know so it's not just like the surface pieces I think like one is missing here yeah there we go let's uh, emphasize a little bit with an extra scene going here motivate our little beard pieces here every hair should go somewhere but we can leave some to the imagination and then we kind of want to create some I'm gonna flatten this out first because yeah what I want to do is kind of create the feeling these hairs come from the skin. Make this bigger. I want to give them nips. There we go. <laughs> Those are terrible. I'm just like hanging from the bottom. There we go. That's beautiful. Uh, kind of want to define this a little bit better here. Just gonna overdo this a little bit more because it's a little bit weak. Maybe use a pinch brush. Uh, maybe use the clay build up to a little bit more volume in there. What does seem going on here? Fix the ear. Now we can start on the details. Ah, Coke. <laughs> Sorry. Oh man. You've officially been sponsored. Nah, just kidding. 
I have to say just kidding because I think claiming that somebody sponsors you without them sponsoring you is illegal. A lot of stuff is illegal. And you shouldn't do that. <laughs> Man, I'm a terrible role model. One day I'll get an angry email by some somebody's mother or somebody's wife or somebody's husband. What did you tell them? <laughs> I'm gonna make them a little, a little bit more compact here. <laughs> I like the nips. <laughs> I like a silhouette. It's kind of nice. Uh, push this in. Gotta make the next to make sense here. I'm just gonna fill in these. Um, I'm gonna go back to this object. This was four or seven, right? Yeah. Um, I kind of have an idea because it kind of feels a little bit empty. So Z7, and then we're just gonna, no, for the blob brush. Create these indents, and they kind of look good. And here it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, it gives a little bit more detail, as well as here. And it's, it's kind of like, yeah. Cool, there's something going on there. <laughs> I know I should motivate this more, but uh, Jesus. I'm kind of get this going on. Some sweet, fine action. Cool. Maybe make this seem a little bit more uh, harsh. There's some bigger shapes here. Uh, yeah. Pull this all a bit together. We're gonna grab it. Pull it down. And the shape either has to be there prominently or not be there. I'm just gonna push it out a little bit. Alrighty, let's get into detailing. So I'm gonna make him a lot dirtier. Um, uh, oh yeah, let's turn off the radial. So just gonna bring out a little bit more detail here. To the eyebrows, so they're a bit cleaner. There we go. And of course the nose didn't quite do that. And I'm bringing some sweet nostril action in there noise very noise gonna bring this down all right i'm gonna turn off symmetry i'm gonna see what i can do with the uh i kind of want to drag them all over the place a little bit um A little bit angrier. This ear down, this ear up, maybe. You know. Bring this shoulder up, the shoulder down. Have one tit hanging lower than the other one. Have his belly a bit weird. Have a belly button here. Have some. Uh, let's put our fall off to sphere let's have a couple of weird spots here you know what is here have an, have an arrow hang off of him can I do that like constant detail oh yeah definitely oh that's crazy <laughs> Oh, I didn't know you could do that. But then here I don't have any now. Uh comes with a bit harsh, I guess. Um sphere. What else do it kinda? And then just yeah, nah, it's not gonna work. Um 
All right. We want, what what do we want to do with this? Um, he's battle hardened, so you kind of have a scar here, right? Yeah. Gonna overdo the scar by a lot. Uh, we've done it a little bit too much. Let's see. What are these brushes actually? Draw sharp. What? That's not drawing sharp. Strength all the way. And half my radius, yeah. Uh, let's push this a little bit together. It's not really what I had in mind today. And then maybe here can also get a hole in the eye, uh, ear. Uh, like a lot of spheres going on here. A faster way of doing this. We're gonna put our spacing on 39%. Yeah, and then a little bit more. 200. A bit too not random. Some nice texture on the nose, a nice dirty texture. No, inside of the nose as well. Oh, come on. Um, stroke 210%. Yeah, there we go. So a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's stroke back on like 8% or something. And have a couple of them stick out. I just put on minus. I'm all confused now. There we go. And maybe one really big one. I don't know why. It's kind of dirty. It's warts on his warts. Come on. What is happening? It's dirty. Let's have uh, some spots here. Let's refine all of this a little bit more. A little bit nicer. A bit more curvature in there. It's uh, focused on the right spot here. I'm listening to Christmas music. <laughs> Thanks, YouTube. Stroke on uh, the fall of on sharper. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I definitely could have you maybe used a little bit more. Polys. If you see what I mean. It's a little bit dirty. 
It's a bit like drawing out. Jingle bells, jingle bells. We're still in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> I mean, I never leave Christmas spirit. And here as well. And some of these details, you know. together on this side. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Let's start lighting and see if I can see some other stuff that might be wrong with it. Um, I think he might look better on the square space. Yes. Okay, what do we want to do with lighting now? I think I might have overdone his nose a little bit. <laughs> okay, we might need harder lights here. Okay, first things first. Let's put the room light in a correct position. Silhouette the things we want to silhouette, right? Maybe you want to even a little bit more from here. Um, so we have a nipple sticking out. <laughs> ah, no. Um, these are Namaste, Suresh. Namaste. Welcome to the stream. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just, because I have too many lights to really focus on what's going on here. So let's, if I don't, oh, I'm going to pull them. It's a bit mysterious. Probably don't want to go that crazy with the uh, the red here. Make this in this nice orange of ours again. Less is more. Probably kind of want Is orange a little bit more neutral? Yeah, so I feel like it's distracting from some pieces. I 
and one and a couple of lines and then deviate between the color a little bit so it looks a little bit more like fire so it could be nice and here like go into red again And we just need a nice rim light and that could be the lighting for this piece. Oh, I forgot to give him a shading, huh? We can do something uh, special for the crown here. Let's, uh, let's try giving it a metallic color. Well, you know, let's start from clay new, but make a new shader and actually just make the same shader but metallic. Not sure how that's gonna look. <laughs> Fair doesn't look super bad. <laughs> golden crown for a king but then I think we should um, I'm gonna do something cheeky here not sure if that's this is gonna work this is probably not gonna work does this have too many polys to do this yeah it does okay so I'm just gonna cut here. Poof. I'm gonna do something a little bit controversial. I'm gonna look for this first one again. Poof. So they're connected. I'm just gonna delete these vertices. Right. This is gonna be easiest. <laughs> Select all of these, go to shader, add a new shader, do this a clay new one and assign it. And then in our layout, then we have like the golden crown, but we've got a no, the things still inside of it. And also let's uh Da, 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 da. I think it's a little bit darker. Yeah. And then we kind of, you know, fill the character a bit more. No? <laughs> you disapprove? <laughs> and maybe also a little bit of rim here, but maybe colorize it a bit more to the light. Or maybe not. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe just want to be a little bit colder. Nope. That was a mistake. Which one is this? This, this one. Yeah. And perhaps the only thing I'm going to uh, the gold shader here probably gonna mm, could yeah turn the roughness a little bit down looks a little bit more like shiny metal right a little bit more shading done on this one than we're usually used to but uh yeah go on red and red see how it looks Yeah, something is bothering me. I already see it. The render isn't even done. I'm like, nope. Because uh, and this is this might be controversial. Uh, let me check that I'm on the correct object here. Sculpt mode. Going to the camera view, and I kind of want this to be a little bit more in there because I want the tooth to really have a silhouette. So we might even like just drag this out a little bit more 
So we, so I just have that in the silhouette, right? Silhouettes are important. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna show that in the render for you guys. So I'm just gonna wait until the second render is done. was more of a general practice but uh you can see here the difference uh what that silhouette brings it's really kind of because now you don't really see it uh and now it's really here that makes all the difference all right i hope you like this a little bit shorter version of a uh, scope january but uh yeah um it's sunday <laughs> uh gonna quickly respond to the comments from uh, yesterday um, okay we don't really have questions here this is people are excited nice cool okay so I'm gonna do the thing you know what's going to happen I want to thank all my patrons and especially Sir Knight Taylor Brown for supporting me on Patreon. I also want to thank everybody who's watching, everybody who's following me on Twitter, everybody who's liking everything or just watching or just, you know, appreciating art and everybody also contributing and participating themselves in Sculpt January because it's about challenging ourselves. So go out there and sculpt, you lazy... <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, I want to thank everybody. Uh, please like and subscribe. Follow me at adgentinggent and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, so, you want to say goodbye? Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Did goodbye. I forget something? Hmm? I didn't forget something, didn't I? No. No? Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.